Apex Legends has seen a lot of changes recently. We saw some meta shifts with Legends, some swaps in weapons, and of course a massive change to the rank system. Now, some people may think that that will be the end of changes for a while. I mean, how much more could Respawn tweak, right? Well, it seems like there is a lot more on the way. So hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostest, 8 Second Gaming, and in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a few of the leaks out there that are coming to Apex. Apex. Now, you guys entrust Game League to bring you Apex tips because we're the best. So guys, why not trust Manscaped to take care of your body because they're the best in men's grooming care. Manscaped and Game Leap have recently partnered up because we want you guys to go into spring smelling the best that you can. And Manscaped was actually really kind and sent me a care package including some of their amazing items like this shampoo and conditioner mix, their body wash, some deodorant, and even some body spray. Now I really like this stuff, it's really small, it's compact, it fits perfectly in my gym bag so after I'm done working out I don't smell like raunchy swamp ass. And although I play Apex and don't talk to females, I'm sure if I did they would all compliment how amazing I smell after using Manscaped products. So if you guys want to smell amazing too, go click the link in the description and pick yourself up some product, but don't forget to use code HOSTESS at checkout for 20% off plus free shipping. So go now. With all that being said though, let's start talking about the changes. First up, let's discuss something that the Rampart mains will be excited to hear because this leak will be another buff to her. This season, Rampart did see some changes that are making her a bit more meta. I'm sure that a lot of you had to deal with her more this season. Well, it does look like that's not going to change, it's actually going to get worse. Over on Twitter, Ezra, a well-known leaker, tweeted out this photo of a heavy ammo bandolier. And for the people that know what a bandolier is, you'll understand right away what I mean when I say this will be a buff to Rampart. But for those of you who don't know what a bandolier is, it's basically an ammo belt that goes around your body, like Rambo had one. But don't get it twisted, this will not work the same as an extended magazine. This will more than likely be a slot in your inventory that allows you to carry extra reserve ammo, kind of like how Warzone has the armor satchels to allow you to carry more plates. Using this, the players will be allowed to carry more than 60 ammo in a stack. Now the exact number wasn't given, but the fact that this picture is a blue rarity item and not a red tier mythic item means that there will probably be white and purple versions as well, allowing you to stack more and more with the different rarities. Now with all of that being said, it should start clicking for you as to why this will benefit Rampart. More bullets for her LMG is obviously a buff for her. But even if you're not playing Rampart for the other characters, this will be nice as well. Allowing you to care more ammo to poke during the mid game will be a huge benefit to people in the new rank system. System. I know that I can't be the only one who gets to a building with 300 ammo and in a few minutes it's completely gone. I don't know where it went, I just started shooting at somebody and all of a sudden I'm down 200 rounds. So with this coming into the game, I'm going to wager an even bigger LMG meta will be coming in the future, so get ready for that. Now another change that came in with Season 13 was that Respawn lowered the drop rate of small heals, like syringes and shield cells. It wasn't a huge change but from what I've seen a lot of players have been affected by it. I personally haven't had many issues finding small heals, but I also do a lot of the spider and prowler nests around the map so that could be why they give a ton of those small heals. But anyway, that nerf to the spawn rate seemed kind of out of nowhere. Players have asked for changes to the loot pool before, but this was just kind of a weird one. And I was also confused, just like many others, but then I remembered a leaked item that will be coming into the game very soon apparently. These are the the shield capacitors that we saw floating around Twitter and Reddit a few weeks ago. Now the ones that we have seen on Twitter and other social medias had the word medium in it, so with that we can make the educated guess that there are small and large variations as well. And what these provide is a boost to your shield, like Watson's ultimate. And the device says that it heals for a medium amount of shields and it has a 60 second cooldown. And if the medium refers to the tier that it is, white will be 50, blue will be 75 and purple will be 100. 
100. So these will basically be like a free shield battery every 60 seconds for you. And with these coming into the game very soon, the changes to the small heals is probably testing the waters on having less heals in the game. With these out there and the crafters, players will have more access to larger heals and the smaller ones won't be as needed anymore. If the tests go well and players don't actually need those small heals, they can then phase them out more and more over time and that in return will reduce some of the clutter in the loophole making the game better overall. Now I'm not 100% sold on this just yet, reducing the heals in the loophole may not be the best thing for the game, but I have also been wrong before on a lot of stuff so I can't really be the judge on that just yet, I don't have enough information. But with all the changes Respawn has done lately, I do trust them. The game is going in a great direction right now and it is being more competitive. But who knows, maybe this will force crafters into the meta a bit more and that will make picking a good draw spot a lot more necessary. But again, I don't have enough information on this so we will have to wait and see. And guys, now I wanted to save the best for last because this is it boys. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. This is our shot at getting the Loba swimsuit skin we have all been waiting for. That's right everybody, it's time to bust out your mom's credit card because what I mean by this is we are getting an Apex event that is apparently beach themed. Now I do apologize for this screenshot, I took it on my phone while I was running errands because I didn't want to forget about it, but when I got back, Crowd Rindo had deleted the post so I wasn't able to get a better version of it. Now he didn't say anything about why he deleted it so it may have been that Respawn contacted him in private to take it down because maybe they want to announce it themselves. Or possibly he made a mistake and misinterpreted something, but I really want swimsuit skin so I'm going to think Respawn is trying to cover it up. But in that screenshot we can see there are references to the codename Hunter Safari, and that is a codename we haven't seen before, so it is brand new to this. And there also weren't any models along with it so we didn't get to see any leaks of the skin sadly. But this is very different from any of the battle pass or treasure chest stuff because of the code names, like how season 13 the code attached to them is Hero Knight. And with that, Kral also did tell us the name of the collection event is apparently Hunter Predator. So with the collection event name and the code name all being based around Hunter, and with the down beast from the Savior's trailer, I'm thinking that this may have to do with the animals on Stormpoint. So who knows, maybe the legends were taking a day off, enjoying a nice beach day, and all of a sudden the Prowlers attack. That is just complete speculation though, and this won't be out for a while, as the next event is already known and planned, so we will keep you guys up to date on more information when any of it comes out. But now guys, what are you most excited for that is coming out soon? Let me know in the comments down below, let's see what the community thinks. You guys know that I'm pumped for that beach theme event, I will pay good hard earned money for a Revenant bikini skin. With that being said though guys, I really hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did and you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Apex Legends tips, tricks, and news, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one.